How to use QR codes for education. Educational institutions breed industry frontrunners. So, it's only right to be at the forefront when adapting the hottest technology for your system. QR codes. Using QR codes in the classroom has been widely adopted by several universities because of its dynamic uses. But, do you want to know a secret? It's just the tip of the iceberg. Stay tuned as we give you tips on how to use QR codes for education, campus operations, student communications, and more. But before we go on, let's talk about what a QR code is. A QR code is short for Quick Response Code. It's a matrix barcode that serves as a key to unlocking data that leads to virtually wherever you want it to be. And there's two types of QR codes. You have your static and your dynamic. Static QR codes, they're fixed QR codes and its contents cannot be edited. Dynamic QR codes, on the other hand, they're the flexible type. Dynamic QR codes are more beneficial for marketing since you can set up a QR code tracking system to track the number of scans when the user scans, the location where they scan, and the user's device type. You can generate QR codes for your URLs, B cards, PDF files, social media accounts, and many more. What makes it even better is that you can edit and update your data anytime. Here's a comprehensive list on where and how you can integrate QR codes in your system. One, print ads. Add more value to your print media when promoting your university's programs. Putting a QR code on your recruitment banners, posters, or flyers is one of the most efficient ways to engage students in different activities. It's the fastest way they can find out more about your programs and decide to enroll. Two, identification cards. QR codes are ideal in automating processes such as identification, attendance checking, transactions at the cashier or register, area access, and more. You can assign a QR code for each student and put it on their ID card. You can also assign unique QR codes for your faculty, staff, and guests. This way, they can mobilize quickly around campus, which saves them a lot of time and effort. Three, giving out learners' materials. So when handing out resource materials to students, the fastest way to do it is through a QR code. An example would be displaying a QR code containing the resources during a slideshow presentation. Students can just scan the QR code in the comfort of their seats. It can also help them focus on listening to lectures since they don't have to worry about note-taking. Four, multilingual pages. For schools that take in students of different nationalities, being able to cater to their linguistic needs is crucial. The multi-URL QR code is the perfect tool for this. With just one QR code, you can direct the scanner to a translated version of your web page, depending on their phone's set language preference. They wouldn't be bothered to translate the web page themselves. For example, if the scanner set phone language is French, they will automatically be redirected to the French translation of the website. This would be really handy in spreading the word on important school affairs to the linguistically diverse student body. Five, campus tour guide. A campus can be intimidating to freshies and guests, especially when it has several buildings. It is helpful to have a tour guide, but it can be hard to accommodate students and visitors all at once. Yes, a campus map can be helpful, but there are some people who are hopeless in handling it. One way you can aid this predicament is having an audio campus guide. Just embed your audio guide in a QR code, then put it up on information bulletins or on the campus map as an alternative option. This saves you time and resources since you won't need a human tour guide anymore. Six, Wi-Fi connection. One way for students to maximize their potential is by researching on the internet. To connect to the internet, the students need a fast Wi-Fi connection. The easiest way to connect to the Wi-Fi is through a QR code. Putting up Wi-Fi QR codes across the campus is largely beneficial for both you and the students. It's fast, low maintenance, and hassle-free. Seven, where to reach you. Having several ways to connect with your institution is a must being able to occupy various communication channels opens you up to more people. But once you have all these channels, where are you gonna put them all? Your best bet would be a social media QR code. 
You can house all your links in one QR code so people can have several options in reaching you. Your landing page will also have your links, plus you have an option to embed a video on it so people can know more about you. How cool is that? Eight, gathering feedback. Gathering feedback is vital since it can help you improve things in the system like staff services or faculty performance. One way to gather feedback is to create an online feedback form. After creating your form, you can generate a QR code for it. Having a QR code for your feedback form is efficient since it grants ease of access and convenience. In choosing a QR code generator for your university, you need to consider several things. One, can it be tracked and edited? Two, does it have data security? Three, can it customize and organize QR code campaigns? Four, can one account be managed by several users? Five, will it help accommodate student, faculty, staff, and stockholders' needs? With QR Tiger, the answer is yes. Our features can do all these and more. Go to qrcode-tiger.com to find out more about the services that we offer. QR codes can be a highly effective tool if you know how to use them the right way. Don't worry though, I'm here to help you equip yourself with the fundamentals that you need. Just click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted on new uploads in our channel. If you have questions, type it out in the comments below and we will be sure to answer them. Check out the description box for more information on the services that we offer. For more QR code content, you can browse this channel's videos or visit our blog website linked in the description box below. This has been David. See you in the next video.